Hello, I'm Jason with ScienceMath.com, and today we're going to do a really neat experiment, very simple to do. We're going to take a glass bottle, we're going to take a hard-boiled egg, and we're going to try to fit this egg inside of this glass bottle, which it doesn't seem to be able to do, and we're going to use the power of air pressure in order to make that happen. So what you need for this experiment to pull it off is very, very simple household items. You'll need a hard-boiled egg. Go ahead and boil it ahead of time and peel it also. It's peeled as well. We need a few matches, so what we want is the wooden matches, and you'll see why we need that here in just a minute. And then you'll need a glass bottle. This guy came from Starbucks. You could use any glass bottle you want. You just need to make sure that the egg cannot fit inside. Otherwise, you know, you won't be able to do the experiment. And you also want to make sure that we get any kind of adult permission, parent permission uh, for this experiment as well because we're obviously using some matches, so we want to make sure and get permission as well. So we'll put our safety glasses on. Now what we're really going to do in this experiment is we're going to set our bottle up. We're going to take three matches, three wooden matches out, and essentially what we're going to do is light our three matches, throw them in the bottle, and then get the egg on top. Now one thing you want to make sure and do, you don't want to be reckless with this, but you, when you light the matches and you get them in the bottle, you really want to get them in there pretty fast. You don't want the flame to cool off too much. You want to get it in while it's nice and hot and then get this egg plugged in. Also, when you put the egg on top, you want to make sure and put the small end of the egg, the pointy side, so to speak, down like this, right on top. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to, it's going to happen sort of fast, so I want to make sure to explain it. We're going to light it, get them in there, and then get that egg on top pretty fast. So let's go ahead and do that now. One, two, three. Light, inside, egg on top. And then we'll see what happens. Notice the egg just goes right into the bottle, just like that. Now, you know, you can do this over and over again. Most kids, when they see this, are kind of amazed because obviously the egg doesn't, uh, we can go ahead and take our safety glasses off now, the egg doesn't uh, fit through the bottle. So the question you have to ask yourself is, why does lighting a few matches uh, and putting them inside the bottle do anything at all? And the answer is, uh, that all around you we have air pressure. And you don't feel air pressure because of the way your body works, but it's all around us. I mean, if you think about it, and there the, the egg goes and drops into the bottom. Um, when you think about it, you're sitting on Earth, and all above you is a giant atmosphere of, of air. We don't think about air weighing very much, but it actually, it actually does exert pressure and push down you know, on top of everything, right? And it's quite a bit of pressure. The reason you don't feel that pressure is because your, the inside of your body has liquids and they also exert pressure. So the inside of your body and the outside air are pushing back and forth to one another. And so you don't feel that the air is really pushing on you that much, but it actually is. And we're gonna use that force, that pressure of the atmosphere to get this egg in the bottle. The trick is, is what we wanna do is somehow create a low pressure inside of this bottle so that we'll have a low pressure inside and a high pressure on the outside and then the pressure will push the egg inside the bottle. And the way we do that is with these matches. It doesn't seem like it would work at first, but what happens is when you light a match, it, it makes the air hot, right? If you just hold a match up and it, the flame is going, it's getting the air hot. When you light these three matches and you put them inside the bottle, it makes the, the air inside of this bottle hot. Now what happens to hot air when you, when you heat it up? Or what happens to air when you heat it up? It wants to expand. It wants to get bigger, right? If you put something in the freezer and cool it off, it wants to get smaller. It wants to contract. But when you put things in, in flames or in heat, they want to get bigger. So as soon as we put this match in the bottle, the air in here wants to get bigger and some of it basically pushes out of the top of the bottle here. And so once we plug it up with the egg, the flame goes out right? And the air that's remaining, it was hot just a few seconds ago, but as soon as we plug it up, it starts to cool off. What happens to things when they want to cool off? When a gas cools off, it contracts, it gets smaller. So because we made the inside hot, thereby pushing some of the air out of the bottle, and then we plugged it up, and then suddenly it cooled off on the inside, all the air wants to contract inside, and that creates low pressure. Low pressure just means you know, uh, less force of the air inside of there. So you have a small pressure zone inside of here, which means less air pressure, and you have the atmospheric pressure, which is always outside, and you have more pressure outside than inside, and that just rams the egg through there. And you notice it just kind of gradually just draws it in. The more this air cooled off inside, 
the more force that we had uh, to push that egg in. So it's all about balancing air pressure, you know. And that's what's happening in this experiment. So go grab yourself a hard-boiled egg, go grab yourself a, uh, some matches, go grab yourself some safety glasses and an adult, and, and go ahead and do this experiment because it's, it's really a lot of fun and it really demonstrates uh, about air pressure around us. The only thing I can really tell you as far as helpful hints is um, when you put the matches in, try to get them in there fast. If you light the matches and just sort of watch them burn and watch them burn, and then you put them in there, it's the effect is not going to be as good. You want to get those matches in there when the flame is the hottest. So light them, get them in there, get the egg on top, and I think you'll uh, see this experiment work every single time and enjoy the results.